Aaron, as we head into these last days before the fight, how are you feeling and uh, where you are? Where are you mentally right now? I mentally, I'm good. Obviously, I've had a lot more media uh, this time around because it's obviously a bigger card. But I feel good, and uh, I weight is good. I'm only a few pounds over, so yeah. Now just wait. it's a waiting game. Weigh in tomorrow, and then I have 15 minutes on Saturday night to get it done. As uh, you head into the fight, you're creating a lot of buzz. There's a lot of eyes on you who have a lot of high expectations for you. Your opponent, Henry, has a lot of respect for you. He said, you know, a lot of contenders come in and they say they're overrated, or, but he has a lot of respect for you. What are your feelings towards your opponent heading into the fight? Yeah, the respect is mutual. I respect Henry, but, uh, but sometimes that's just how the game is. You know, I, I respect everybody I fight with. But, but make no mistake, when I get in the cage, I'm definitely trying to take his head off. So, hey, he's a tough veteran, but uh, I have a job to do, and that's win Saturday night. This is arguably uh, your biggest fight at this point in your career. What does a win against Henry set you up for in the future? Well, I think it's a very, very good uh, position for a title shot. Uh, yeah, I've fought tough guys all my career. I've only had five fights, but they've all been tough guys. So getting through Henry Corrales, I believe, will put me in a good good position to be in a title title contention. Uh, as we know that you train tremendously with Freddie Roach at the Wild Card Gym, what, as a veteran of the sport and combat sports, what type of advice in these days winding down does Freddie give to you? Yeah, and, you know, not too much. Just staying sharp and sharp in the gym, letting the hands go, letting, letting just just knowing what I know best, letting my combinations um, fly. But nothing really crazy. All the work has been done. You know, for the past 12 and a half, 13 weeks, I've been putting in a lot of work. So. As we get closer, nothing crazy, just just uh, flow on the pads and feel good. Also, this past weekend, uh, your stable mate of sorts, uh, Manny Pacquiao, had a decisive victory over Adrian Broner. Did you watch the fight, and what did you think of his performance? I, I watched it after. I watched, uh, I, I, I watched the highlight. I was doing some media stuff, so I wasn't able to watch it. But, uh, but uh, he, he once again showed that why he's the best, and just to do it at 40 years old is pretty impressive. I hope to to be that that good in shape when I uh, am that age. But, but uh, my hat's to him. I think he's he's got a few more fights in him. But it's pretty cool to see him being that age doing what he does. Um, other than your fight, what fight are you most looking forward to on the uh, the card Saturday night? And what is your prediction for the main event? I believe Bader's going to win. I I picked him to win the whole tournament actually. But let's 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 uh, not forget that Fedor is a very very tough guy. But the guy, but the the fight that I'm looking most forward to is my my teammate Juan Archuleta. I believe when he beats Ricky, I think he'll be in a great position for for a title. I think he is the next guy in line for a title shot at 135, and I I believe and I really know that he can beat Darian Caldwell. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Juan Archuleta putting on a show. And uh, one last message for your fans that'll be tuning in Saturday night to see you work. Say that again, sorry. And uh, one last message for your fans that'll be tuning in Saturday night to see you work. Yeah, just uh, tune in. Obviously, my fights have all all uh, come by knockout. All my wins have been by knockout. So make sure you guys tune in. It's always a great night when I fight. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure is mine. Thank you.